I will show you how to write tests for our video chat application using Cypress uh, and it's uh, gonna be a little bit tricky. Cypress is a great library for testing. Uh, what's going on here? And uh, if we compare it with Selenium, it's so much easier to use. Uh, but there are some trade-offs. Uh, Cypress allows to run us only one browser window uh, and we can't do what we did manually. We can't open two browsers and connect to the same uh, room. We can only uh, open one browser uh, and one tab. But there are workarounds how to test it. We will use uh, two great features of Cypress is uh, tasks and stubs. Uh, let's start with a simpler one. Um, we will test our uh, messages, our chat messages. <gasps> Dracaris! While I was talking to you guys, Dracaris just stole a piece of bread from the kitchen and now she enjoys it. So first we're gonna do the simpler part to test our uh, text messages chat and then I will show you how to test our video chat how to imitate a second user that connects to the same server, same room without opening another browser tab so uh, first I want to show you um, I added to our client uh, package JSON few scripts uh, to run all uh, parts of our application with one command here we start with this command, we go to the folder with our server and uh, start it and here we go to our Dracarys. I'm trying to record the video and you bothering me. Uh, here we go to our server uh, directory and we start server there. And here we go, we do the same for our PeerJS server and then uh, this command start all uh, concurrently runs all these three commands. So now just uh, uh, one command is enough um, to run them all. Uh, we go to our client folder and just run start all. And here we get our our project alive, running. Uh, and now we will install Cypress. Let's go to the official documentation. Getting started. Uh, we can see how to install it. It's uh, easy. You just copy this command yarn add Cypress dev. So it installs it to your dev dependencies. Then there will be a command to run Cypress to open it. We can add it as well to our package JSON. Uh, so our Cypress installed. Let's uh, open the app with the command that we just added. And here uh, it will ask about the initial configuration. It says we can choose between two types, components testing and end-to-end -end testing. Uh, and we want to explore end-to-end -end testing today. And here um, uh, the Cypress app adds uh, the uh, default configuration automatically. You don't have to do it manually, you just click continue. And you can choose which browser to run tests. Uh, and started. Now we do not have any specs uh, and we're gonna add them very soon uh, but first I want to change our command uh, that we added here. First I want to call it end-to-end -end. and second I want not just open but to pass parameters uh, otherwise it will ask uh, every time uh, when we open Cypress, which test you want to open and uh, which browser and I just want uh, to open end-to-end uh, -end uh, tests in Chrome every time. So let's add these um, parameters and let's try.
Yes, now it opens Chrome with uh, our non-existing tests. Um, so we finished with the setup and let's write our first test. Now uh, let's create our first uh, test file. In this folder, um, Cypress, we will add the folder end-to-end uh, -end for our end-to-end -end tests. And here we will create a um, test for our chat. In the beginning of every uh, Cypress file, we should add this line. Uh, to tell our idea uh, to our um, VS Code that this file is for Cypress, otherwise it will be just all red. Um, and then, as usually, we write describe block and we call it text chat, and we add the callback just the same way as we did for unit tests. And let's write our first test. It shows, it sends message and displays it in the chat. And now, uh, the first thing we want to do is to open our page. Uh, for this, we will use uh, the command Cypress visit to visit the page and we go to our local host. If we open the local host, uh, we can actually run the test to see what is going on. So we see our first spec, let's click on it, let's start it. And uh, Cypress opened our website. Now we want to enter the name and start the meeting. Um, so let's do it. We are finding the element uh, with get command. It's just input element. Because we have only one, we don't really need to clarify which input we want. And then we type in this input the name. And then we want to find a button. And click on it. As you see, all commands are very intuitive. And if we rerun our test, you can see it did exactly what we want. And it opened our room, uh, showed us the video stream of the current user. It um, shows this fake stream uh, because uh, Cypress doesn't have access to real uh, webcam. And now we want to open the chat the same way as we did in Jest. We just find the button for chat. You remember it was test ID. data test id uh, was it chat button uh, let me check yeah test id is chat button so we just copy this and we click it to open the chat then when we clicked uh, we want to find our text area Oops. and again with this command we are finding our text area and type our first message hello cypress And then we want to send it. We need to click on this button. As you see now, it typed but did not send yet. Uh, this button does not. This button doesn't have any test test ID, so let's add it because we need to get it. 
it's in the chat input um, button And in test spec, we again can get it. And can click. And our message is sent. Uh, now it's time uh, for assertions. We want to check if our chat has this message. So let's get the chat. And our chat should contain text. And which text? This text. Hello, Cyprus. And it also should contain our name, our username, Anna. Do we actually have this text ID? Oh, yeah. I, this uh, error happens because I forgot to add this test ID to our chat. Let's do it. Where is it? Our chat. And let's restart. Oh yeah, it does not have Anna, it has you because it's uh, the user who sent the message. It's me, yeah, sorry. Uh, and now you can see both our checks passed. So this was simple, but what if we want to check uh, that messages from other peers are displaying here, that we actually get them. For this one, this one, Cyprus, Dracaris, please shut up. And for this one, uh, Cyprus has Dracaris. And for this one, we have a way to do it. We need our task API. Um, Task allows us to execute any uh, code in a node environment uh, and call it from our test. In our Cypress config JS, we just need to define few tasks uh, that will simulate uh, user behavior. They will simulate uh, that another user connected to our server and sent it the message. Now we should figure out uh, My bird is so talkative today that I can't really record. I guess she's uh, a Cypress advocate and she wants to, to tell you, write tests, write tests, write more tests. So here it is, here it is now our, our um, Cypress config. And what do we need to do is in this uh, setup node events, we just need to add our tasks. Let's copy this boilerplate. And first task will be socket connect because we need to connect. Uh, so our first task will be Connect. and we don't need any parameters here we just want to connect to our web socket 
same as we do in a uh, room context. Let's open it just to refresh our memory. How do we connect? Um, we import our WebSocket from here. Okay, I have to do something with that bird. Wait, I will be back. Now I'm back. I did not kill the bird. I just covered it with a blanket. So it's night for her. So we have our uh, web socket. And in room context, how do we connect? We basically need to do the same. And uh, to connect to our web socket again. So let's import our uh, WebSocket URL a little bit of copy paste Now we have our task to connect to the WebSocket uh, and we also need uh, not only to connect but we need to join the room. So let's add this task as well. Pay attention that every task should return something, uh, null or some uh, result and if it does not return Cypress won't be happy. So join the room uh, so you remember uh, we uh, have this event here in our room and we basically should do the same but in Cypress config uh, we will destructure our data uh, room ID user or peer ID and username and we will send it to our server not to forget to return new here uh, and now let's try to call these tasks to execute them from our test from our specification uh, how do we do it the syntax again is very easy it's just cypress task and then uh, the name of the task in our case it's first task connect and the second one um, we need to join the room but to join the room we just we not just send the event the name of the task we also need our parameters to pass here with as uh, a second argument uh, as it's shown in the documentation here you can see uh, this is a name and this is the uh, argument with data that we want to pass. Uh, so we need to know what is the room ID. And here we have some errors because we changed the configuration file. So every time when we run our test, uh, we have a new room ID it's the random one and we need to join exactly this room ID how do we get it with Cypress uh, we can do it using uh, the IPI Cypress URL uh, this is a chainer so we don't really get the result we need to it's a promise so we need to add then to chain then and here it will be the result it will be an url and inside of the callback we can already get room id uh, url split 
we split it with slash not this one this one and reverse and it will be the first element of our array so this will be our room id we also need user id uh, let's uh, set some user id it can be any random string and we need username let username be cypress So uh, if you take a look at our terminal, you can see that first uh, a user um, with this ID joined the room and it was user Anna and then another user hmm, uh, with ID undefined, uh, the Cypress user joined as well from our task. So why is it undefined? Uh, because it should be peer ID, not user ID. I'm so sorry now let's take a look again uh, Anna connected and a user with uh, this ID this fake user from Cypress connected as well uh, and now we can just uh, write a task to send the message from the name of this user to our uh, real user uh, let's do it let's write the task and we can just do a generic task emit for uh, emitting any kind of uh, any kind of messages to the web socket and just pass data let's do the following it will be event uh, it will be room id and data so event data and we will get it from our data parameter and then just emit to WebSocket and return null Now, in the specification, we want to send another task here uh, just uh, to make sure uh, we are doing everything in the callback where we uh, de uh, detect the URL. If you do it outside of the callback, you won't be able to join the room because you don't have access to room ID. Uh, so, this task is emit and we pass a message uh, event event is um, send message so room id is room id and our data event data is uh, what we need for the sending message let's check in chat is it in chat input message 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 do we have a type for message we should I think in chat yes so we need to send content hello Anna we need to send the author that will be our user ID and we need to send timestamp new date and now let's check let's run our Cypress tests again Uh 
Aha. Uh -huh. It can't display username, but I think the problem is not in Cyprus. It's a problem with the display of our username in chat. Uh, let me check. In chat bubble. Oh yeah, we're getting it by ID and we need to ask for username here. Let's restart the test. And you see our uh, Cypress user actually uh, answered to our Anna user. And now we can add another assertions to check if we have proper messages. Let's just do it. Let's just copy. We want to check for hello Anna. And for the username, let's check it. Let's use a constant. And our tests pass uh, successfully, but let's break them just to check if they work. It's always good to break tests first. Um, to make sure they are not falsy, positive. And yeah, you see, we are asking about this text, but there is no such text. It works. Let's get back to the working variant. Uh, so that's it. That's how we can use Cypress task feature to test our, our WebSocket chat.